Hi, welcome to this tutorial in my series on permutations and combinations. And this is the first one in the series where I'm going to look at permutations. So what do we mean by permutations? Well, it's the number of ways that we can rearrange a set of items. For instance, let's say we've got two letters here, A and B. How many different ways can I rearrange these? Well, I could have AB, or I could swap the letters round and have BA. So what we end up with is two permutations or two arrangements. Now what happens if I had, say, three letters? Let's say A, a B and a C. How many ways could I rearrange these? Well, I could make a list of them. Well, I've done that and you can see that we get six. Now what happens if we had say four letters A, B, C and D? How many different arrangements are there going to be for that? Well it takes some time to list them all out so we've got to have a better way of doing this. So let's go back to trying to see how this works. If we go to the two letters, we could think of this as something like a tree diagram. We could say that, OK, we've got our two letters. We'll do two sections, for one for the first letter and one for the second letter. And when we choose our first letter, what could it be? Well, we have the two choices because it could be an A or a B. But as soon as we've chosen one of the letters, we've only got one choice left for each of them. If I choose an A, I can only go on to choose a B. Or if I choose a B first of all, then I can only go on to choose an A. And you can see here, we've just got our two choices. Let's have a look at a tree diagram for this. What's it going to look like? Well, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, we've got three choices for the first letter, A, B or C. And for any one of those choices for the first letter, we've got two choices for the second. And as soon as we've made that second choice, we're only left with one choice for the third letter. And if you total these up, all these paths, you'll notice that we've got the six that we had here. But that six can be formed like this. We had three ways of choosing the first letter. And for every three ways, we had two ways of choosing the next one. And then for any two that we chose here, we always had just one left over. And we have 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, our 6 ways that we had here. If we do the same for this one up here, for the two arrangements, you can see that we had two choices for the first letter. And then for any of those two choices, we only had one for the second letter. 2 times 1 equaling 2, our answer here. Now when we do multiplication like this, 3 times 2 times 1 or 2 times 1, we often call it a factorial. A short way of writing 3 times 2 times 1 is called 3 factorial. A short way of writing 2 times 1 is called 2 factorial. If I had 5 factorial, that would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, whatever that works out to be. And you can often find these factorials on any scientific calculator. Search for one on yours and see if you can check out that 3 factorial gives you 6. OK, if we've got something like this then, are we in a better position to work out how many arrangements we could make with A, B, C, D would be? Well, I'll leave it up to you just to work that out. Pause the video for a moment and come back and 
we'll just check the answer out. OK, welcome back if you had a go. How did you get on with ABCD then? How many different permutations are there? Well, if you drew a tree diagram, your tree diagram would have looked something like this. Now, I'm not expecting you to have drawn that tree diagram because it's horrendous, basically. But can you see that the number of arrangements would have been 4 for the first letter, then 3, then for all of those three, there would have been two, and then one. Four by three by two by one. Four factorial, in other words. And what does that come to? Well, it comes to 24. So I hope that you found out that the number of arrangements then was 24. Okay, so where is this taking us? Now you should be able to see that the number of permutations or arrangements of n different items is given by n factorial. Now I've got three questions here which I'd strongly encourage you to have a go at. Especially number three. It's slightly different. It builds on this concept. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. Have a go at these, and when you're ready, come back and check your work solutions against mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So with this first question, how many different ways can you arrange six people in a line? Well, let's just suppose that we said that those people were just called A, B, C, D, E and F. OK, they could be there first names or something. So what I've got here is essentially six different items. And so the number of arrangements or number of ways that we can arrange them is going to be equal to six factorial. And if you work out six factorial, six times five times four times three times two times one, you end up with 720. Now in question two, how many different numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 if each digit is used only once? Well again, this is just like considering this type of thing. We've got seven different items and just need to rearrange them. So the number of ways will be 7 factorial. OK, so if you work out 7 factorial, you end up with 5,040 different numbers that we could form from these seven digits. Now, in number three, this is the one that I was saying to be careful about. Definitely encourage you to have a go at this one. We've got how many different car registration plates can be made consisting of the letters A, B and C, the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4, where the three letters appear before the four numbers. And each letter and number can only appear once in any registration plate. Well, to do this, what we've got is our three letters, A, B and C, OK, appearing before the numbers. So we'll just put little dashes there. There's our three letters. They could be, for instance, A, B and C or any rearrangement. And then we've got the four numbers following this. OK, we'll just put four dashes there. And those numbers could be one, two, three and four in that order. So we'd get this particular number plate. But remember, these numbers can be also rearranged. So how many different ways are there going to be? Well, you've got to be very careful with this. And you mustn't fall into the trap of thinking it's just going to be 7 factorial. 7 factorial is 5040. It's not that answer. What we've got to do is take this in two parts. We've got to look at this first part and the number of different ways that we can arrange A, B and C is going to be 3 factorial. But for any one of these arrangements, 
The numbers here can be arranged amongst themselves four factorial ways. So we've got to multiply this by four factorial. And if we do this, three factorial is three times two, which is six, and four factorial, four by three by two, turns out to be 24. And six times 24 is 144. So you can see, definitely not the same as seven factorial. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and I hope that you found this useful and that you'll be able to do similar kinds of examples based around this idea.